Hello, this is Chris Menard. I have a great question to answer in Excel today. Someone wanted to know how can you find the lowest or highest value by row. So I'm going to use functions with conditional formatting to do this. I've started Excel. I put in customer in A1, customer 1 in cell A2 and auto filled that down. That could be the name of employees. It doesn't matter. Quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter, quarter four. Those could be months. I just put in some easy data here. To fill in these numbers, just select your range. I'm going to put in random numbers between 4 and 20. Control Enter. So I've just got random numbers. Every time I refresh, the numbers will change. So let's just copy and paste the values. So now they're in there for good. So here we go. To find the lowest value using conditional formatting for Chris, Karen, Susan, and David, just to show you this, here is the equals MIN. So the lowest value for Chris should be the number five. Then we should get a four for Karen, five and five. Let's change a couple of these. Here's a one. Here's a four, and there's a three. You don't need what I did in column G. I'm just showing you that that is the function I'm going to use with conditional formatting. So here we go. Select your range, and it's important that you start in the very first cell. So I highlighted B2 first. Conditional formatting. We are going to make a new rule for this, and I'm going to make a rule based on a formula. The formula is going to be equals B2, that's where I started selecting from, equals the minimum of B2 through E2. This is the part that always throws people off because I selected B2 to E5. But my conditional formatting formula is just B2 to E2. And the reason is I'm going to click in between the B2 and I can either type the dollar sign myself, but it needs to be dollar sign B2, dollar sign E2. The dollar sign means freeze, so I'm freezing column B over to column E. And if you notice, I'm in B2, so it's going to go across that row and find the lowest value. Then it'll be B3, but it'll only be looking in row 3. So I froze the column. Then it'll be B4. How do you want it to appear? I'm going to go to Format, Number, Font, Border, Fill. I'm going to use the Fill. We'll put it in yellow background, pick a color, click OK. So when I click OK, four cells should turn yellow. One for row 2, 3, 4, and 5. And it also should be the lowest value, so I don't even need this anymore. I was just showing you the formula that we used. Let's test it. I'm going to make quarter two the number three, so that should pick up the yellow for row two. I'm going to make Karen a one, the yellow took over. A zero for Susan, the yellow took over. And a negative 2 in cell D5 and that took over. So that is how you do it for the rows. If you want to do it for the columns, just to show you this, I'm just going to highlight, copy it, add a new worksheet and paste it. I'm going to lose the conditional formatting, clear rules for the entire sheet because I'm on a new sheet. So here we go again. You highlight first conditional formatting. Let's do a new rule. Formula. It's going to be equals B2 still equals MIN. This time though it's going to be B2 to B5 because last time it was B2 to E2. But instead of freezing the columns I'm using F4 
I'm going to freeze the rows. So it should run across the columns. I'm going to go to Format, Yellow works again, click OK, click OK, quarter one, the number one. Let's make it a zero. It picked it up. Quarter two, let's make it negative 12 or negative 152. That's what happens when you can't type. Uh, let's make this one negative until let's change this to 12. And I hope the number three goes yellow and it does. Change this to 27 and it should pick up E2 and it did. Thank you for your time. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Keep the questions coming. I love the questions. This was two great formulas with conditional formatting. I did MIN. I could have easily done the uh, MAX, done the highest value, or you could do both. Thank you.